Alright, welcome back to Rogue Tech, and welcome back to the Challenge Run Mark II. So, um... Right, I said I was going to organize this. Uh, let's see... Damage, damage... Uh, Dreadnought Gyro... Warfare Suite... So... Kind of like a quick tanky boy. Okay. Uh, Crab, if I remember correctly, has Pharaoh the Miller. I thought I had a combat shield. No, that's right. Crabs don't have hands. Tanky boy. Uh, Hellhound is... Um... Hmm. I mean, 300 core, so it's kind of quick, but that's not... Hmm. Okay. Um, let's actually... Okay, so... Ostrock is... Zippy... Has a little bit of tankiness. Combat shield. Okay. Uh, tanky boy, tanky boy. Uh, Bushwhacker is just fast. So, Bushwhacker and Cicada go together. Um, Stormcrow and Hunchback are the melee mix. Uh, so, you do something like that. So, big strong carries, tanky, 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 and then just general whatever. And then uh, the Electronic Warfare Fast Mechs, Melee Mechs, and AMS Boats. Alright. And looking at our financial report, and realizing that we still have a long way to travel. 39 days, we're probably going to jump several times. So, I think I actually need to scrap some stuff to build up a little bit of a buffer. Uh, I've already scrapped all the lights. Mediums, I'm down to just clan tech. So let's look at some of the heavies. Vultures, clan tech, awestruck. Okay. Grand dragon, we only have one part. Jaeger mech, we only have two parts. Um, catapult, we only have two parts. And that brings us 2.36. That should be enough. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna travel, and if there's a, an event, I will stop it do, and, and show that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna let it run until we get there. And I'm gonna set a Spartan financial report, because we're gonna have 25 days left to travel once the financial report takes over. Alright, see you when we arrive. Alright, here we are. Flashpoint, let us begin. A long hunt, High Orbit, Lindsay. Commander, thank you for heeding my call. You'll forgive me if I'm not my usual jovial self. We have important matters to discuss. Something must be seriously wrong. We have our full attention. Okay, I just arrived. Massacre recently took place there. An entire farming village put to the torch. Its people slaughtered by a monster in a Davian uniform. My agents have tracked the responsible party to this system. I want you to help me deliver the coordinator's justice unto him. I want you to bury him under the hundred tons of steel. Yeah, we did that. So, assassination. I will provide the coordinates of a stronghold on the planet's surface. So, capture or destroy base. My agents tell me he So, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's right, I said consecutive deployments. So, probably... Destroy base and then assassination? Something like that? Alright, let's go! Yeah, I know I skipped half the club, I don't care. <laughs> now that I know what we're doing, let's do it. <laughs> uh, Alright, full salvage. Ooh, wait, actually. Once we commit to this, we are probably locked in. We're probably not going to be able to back out and train. And we have not yet... Um, first of all, we need to go to the store. Just as... There is no store. Cool. 
Um, but the barracks. Uh, we're probably dropping the Marauder again. I've been very happy with the Marauder's performance. And the Marauder is piloted by Gremlin. Yeah. So... Yeah, that'll help. And then... One more guts, sure. Training confirmed, Commander. Alright, plus two gunnery, nice. Um, and we're probably running the Cicada. Yeah, definitely sensor lock here. 100% sensor lock. Uh, so we're piloting, sure. Cool. Mech warrior training complete. <clears throat> All right. And then... Who else are we going to run on a capture or destroy base? Probably capture, probably... Or, I mean, probably destroy, since it said we're flushing somebody out. Um... So destroy base, probably turrets... Melee can't target structures, so we're not going to drop either of our melee mechs. Um... Yes, Commander. Oh, well, turrets usually have missiles. There's usually at least one missile turret. And if we bring one of our AMS boats... So both of our AMS boats have the ability to intercept a bunch of missiles. Um, well, specifically big missiles like Thunderbolts and Arrows. Uh, but they also shoot missiles, which means we want Bandit for the chance to crit in the clustering. We want um, Lucky, because, you know, jam chance on the AMS. We also want Gunner. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Lucky's lucky. Lucky's lucky and has a lot of gunnery. And one of the... No, no, that's right. The Bushwhacker's not the AMS mech. Bushwhacker's a backstabber. Um, does the Bushwhacker have, like, a mask or anything? Bushwhacker, Bushwhacker, Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker. Yes, it has a mask. Okay. So, let's give our commander some more piloting. In case we decide to run the Bushwhacker. Training complete. Alright. But yeah, we're looking for somebody who has Bandit, who is lucky... I mean, Lucky is Lucky and does have Bandit. But I, if I drop the Bushwhacker, I'd definitely rather him be on the Bushwhacker. Um, hmm. Judith is Lucky, but she has Focus Fire. Uh, Helga is Lucky, but has Focus Fire. Okay. El Duce is lucky, but has focus fire. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Archangel is lucky, but has, like, no stats. What's the highest gunnery we could get him? Five. I mean... I really do want to try one of the AMS mechs. What do you want? So I think we're gonna drop Lucky in it anyway. Um, command center, command center, and then we'll just stick somebody else in. Going full salvage because we should get a good payday from the flashpoint. It is a three and a half skull mission. We are at two and a half, so we need to drop probably the wyvern. Griffin probably isn't actually that useful against... Like, it's tanky. It does it does absorb a lot of fire. But again, I think I want to run one of the AMS boats. So either the Archer or the... Is it the Centurion who made the AMS boat? Yeah, Centurion. I mean, it has just an enhanced LRM-20. I... Can we bring the Archer? Because the Archer doesn't have any kind of engine upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's actually pretty low value. Alright. Let's put Lucky on that. I mean, honestly... If we do put, like, an engine upgrade, and gyro upgrade, structure and armor upgrade, and we put a bunch more weapons on it, this thing might actually be a powerhouse. 
Like, even though it's only 70 tonner, we could potentially get a lot of work done with this thing. Anyway, um, so that's two skulls. Would I rather bring the fire starter than the wolfhound? I think so. Then again... Your face laser does have the ability to shoot then move. And it has an air 24, so if it gets close, it scrambles enemy sensors and increases our chance to hit them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the fire starter has a C3 master, that's even better. Okay. I mean, do we bring untouchable? Or do we bring a tank here? Like... Yeah, no, let's, let's bring Untouchable. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, let's destroy this base and flush out this guy and then kill him, I guess. Or whatever. Alright, Flashpoint, we don't get a pick where we drop. I mean, this is a pretty good place. We've got cover. Welcome to the jungle, boys and girls. Yeah, we're starting out of combat. Okay, um... Okay, for a second I, I thought we had a dead drop. I was going to be very annoyed. Location confirmed. Flashpoint forcing me to drop in a dead drop would have been very annoying. Very, very annoying. Yeah, just moving and bracing, moving and bracing. Kind of hoping that they end up not having spawn protection and I can act and, you know, zip around and... Coordinates received. Um, oh, it's this map, okay. Um, mm, round three, so yeah, they're not going to have spawn protection wherever they are. So, this base has, if I remember correctly, yeah, a turret here. See the little turret post? Uh, it has a turret in the middle of it, right there, on that post. It has a turret here on this rock, and then the last one is here on this rock. Okay, so we can actually move over through here with the cover of the AMS, destroy this thing, so anything direct firing in the other three turrets won't be able to shoot us because of the ridge line, and any missiles firing indirectly hopefully get intercepted by the AMS. Sounds like a plan. And sprinting for five in cover also sounds like a plan. That's a heavy calliope. MML-15 risks and light ER PPCs. Okay. That's actually really scary. Because if the MMLs fire SRMs, that's 300 potential damage. Let's kill it. <laughs> yeah, that. Let's do that. Oh boy. That's not a lot of damage. Oh, it's a jumpy raid. It's a jumpy wraith with pulse lasers and PPC. Okay. Alright. Yeah, two medium pulse lasers and an ER PPC. Alright. Then there's a venom. Like... Medium, light, light, and a battle axe. What? Isn't a battle axe a heavy? No. No, no, no. 536, 720... So, yeah, it's, it's a medium. Okay. Then again, no. So the Wraith is a 55 ton medium, has 456. So yeah, I was right. Battle Axe is a heavy. It's only like a 60 tonner, but it is still a heavy. Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna run real fast. All right. Get where several people can shoot at this. Oh, no, that's right. Those are buildings it's pointing to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, primary thing, please shred the rest of this armor, or at least some more of it. Alright. So, I know Lucky's up next, but he's running LRMs. So I think I want to reserve him 
to try to crit if if we can't just kill the heavy calliope with raw damage, I'm gonna try to crit it out with the LRMs. Especially with Bandit. Ooh, they actually have line of sight. Luckily, we intercepted the six yeah. missiles. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Unobstructed. Unobstructed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, like I said, probably. I uh, think I hit something special. We might be able to just destroy it with straight damage. All Although, right. Let's <laughs> get down to it. definitely not using Artemis on a stationary target. That would just be silly. So we'll use our plentiful standard as our LRMs, and that is a turret down. Nice. If they really cared about this facility, they'd have more oh, yeah. than turrets. Turrets. Heavy LBX emplacement, so that's direct fire. Another thing that's nice about having the archer have a very small core and only get one evasion, it's more likely to be fired on because it only has one evasion. So they might fire on him indirectly and get their missiles intercepted rather than shoot at somebody they can see that has more evasion. Heavy Gauss emplacement. Okay. And large Rex laser. So yeah, the turrets are all direct fire. Cool. Cool. On it. Yeah. I love how large of a radius the uh, fire starter C3 Master has. It's On so it. nice. I definitely want to inc in uh, include that. I think on the Night Star because like. It's such a wide radius. That's a charge. Oh no. Please no. That would have completely wrecked Untouchable. But... Right here. Mm -hmm. You fool. Um... I would like to backstrike him, but I've already used the fire starter. The Cicada's not going to have enough damage on zone, and he might act first next turn. So no, I just shoot him. Firing at him. I got him. Until he dies from it. Yep. And then I'll take three evasion and cover. Thank you very much. Yep. Beautiful. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Alright, lucky. I want to fire indirectly. Because that's whole that's your whole shtick. Um, we got 24s on the Owens. 2.9 on the Venom. Obviously, I want to kill the mechs first. I could fire indirectly all day long at the direct fire turrets. Yeah, so it's a 70 tonner, actually. Dual PPCs, LRM-10, SRM-6. Honestly, the Owens, 24%. It's a lower hit chance, but not by much. And the, the impact, the impact of the little damage instances will be higher. Receiving you. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try to get the Owen's gotcha. attention, try to get a C3 online against him, and try to zap him. Zappity zap. Structure exposed. Also, Owen's usually have XL engines. So, eh, it's just the arm, though. Did we intimidate him? Oh, we intimidated him, poor little guy. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the AI runs away so easily, like... I mean... If that's all he's got... Like... I just realized our AMS is doing almost nothing. We destroyed the only turret that actually shoots missiles. And there's only one mech that shoots missiles. Oh, I guess the Owens has the SRM-6, but yeah. Whoops. Um, okay, Firestarter is actually out of position. Unless I want to run where the LBX emplacement can shoot me. Oh, wait, there we go. Ooh, actually, if I stray shot if I stray shot, I hit untouchable. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna EWS ping actually. 
Yeah, see if we can chip off one of his evasion from jumping. Yep, minus one evasion. Beautiful. Uh, I think we're gonna run down this Owens and shoot him in the back. No shooting, just running. Got it. Because yeah, we uh, we haven't actually started work on his side torso. Just disarm. Okay. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Uh, Lucky. Lucky is going to. Is that seriously our minimum range? I th wait. Don't we have a range battle computer? No, we have recon sensor. I, th I mean, not God of I, I thought we had the, the range sensor. Did we put the range sensor on the Centurion? Because this is absolutely a smarter place to put it. That, that minimum range is enormous. Like, way, way too big enormous. Like, I can't even, I can't even actually get into optimal range. He's too close. All right, well, I guess let's, let's shoot the Owens then. High speed. Let's see if I'm somewhere now. Maybe take off an arm. What say we take it to him? Or get a kill. I'm legally obligated to inform you. I'll take it. Per kill. I'll take it. Yeah, we definitely need to put the the sensors range. Hey, quit it. That wasn't very nice. Also, he kicked but didn't shoot. What? I'm listening. Hey, you know what's really fun? Shooting a light mech with a Goss and ARPPCs. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did ya? That's pretty fun indeed. But yeah, we're just gonna stay over here dealing with the mechs until all the mechs have crossed. If I remember correctly, destroy base, there's actually going to be reinforcements, I think. Roger. I think. Nice. All right. So that's a medium and two lights down. Yeah, Garrison, actually, just come back and regroup. If, if there are reinforcements, it's either going to be since it didn't trigger already because we killed more than half the defending garrison. Um, it's gonna either be once we kill a second turret, or once we get close proximity to the buildings. Or maybe once we destroy one Commander. building. I don't know. But, uh, definitely the safest play here is to just... He's not gonna be able to make it up the ridge, which means Gremlin is not yeah. gonna be able to shoot him. Bold so, sounds good. off we go. Uh -huh. Getting in position... I mean, sure. We've got nothing else we can do, and if we can shoot with our Marauder, we will. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Lucky, just gonna move. All right, let's get down to it. Take advantage of the ability to fire indirectly. I mean, that's a 42 percent. So, large Rex laser, double LB10. Oh. That one. Definitely that one. Yeah, we are not crossing that ridge line until that thing is destroyed. Improved heavy goss rifle. That is not something... That is not something you mess around with. So... Once the mech crests the ridge and we kill him... Commander. Uh, okay, so we can actually get line of sight to the LBX emplacement over here. And also to a building. Um, I think I'm gonna wait 
Copy that. Uh, yeah. Continue moving. Let's make some. Although, actually, I probably should have moved instead of sprint for the plus one accuracy. Yeah, it's whatever, though. Let's see if I'm sober enough to line this up. Alright. Standing by. Das also repositioning. No shooting, just running. Got it. And also EWS pinging. Sure. Why not? Sensors locked on. Sounds good. Yep. Uh, again, gonna reserve in case he actually gets yeah. to the top of the hill. Yeah, definitely not gonna step out where the heavy goss turret can shoot me. Definitely not happening. Ooh, there I could actually shoot the heavy LBX turret without being shot by the Goss, okay. But yeah, we're gonna reserve. Oh, I'm holding tight. Man, what turn is the battle axe? Turn 11. Wow. Okay. Good to go. Cool. So we're gonna reposition. Move and brace. Got it. All right. Right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, also going to move and brace. Turrets do nothing. Alright. Slow and steady. We've actually taken very little damage so far. Which is great. It's very good. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be reinforcements. Also, if that heavy gauss turret hits us once, we're kind of in deep, you know, trouble. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I think we continue waiting to see if the battle axe comes where we can shoot him. Commander. And hesitation doesn't really matter when the enemies can't shoot you. Why is our hit chance so bad? Did we get a bad sensor roll? Total plus one. No sensors? Firing blind, no vision and no sensors. We're not gonna shoot that. We're gonna save our ammo. I'm listening. Um Is he is he yeah, he's turned nineteen this time. Okay. Beautiful. So he fired indirectly, but we might be able to get an angle on him that the turrets can't shoot us from. Um hmm. So there's that Rex laser, which Cannot shoot us from this spot right here. Beautiful. Let's do that. Battle axe. Hello. Okay. Yes, Commander. Garrison. Same thing. Move where only the battle axe can see us. Roger that. Cool. Right here. Right. Mm -hmm. Gremlin. Ooh, bad positioning on my part. Okay, mm -hmm. that's my fault. <sighs> I should have seen he was walking around like that. Go ahead and EWS ping, sure. Why not? Okay. Ready for orders. Garrison. Ooh, can I actually get a backstrike going? Do we care though? Yes, we do. He does not have an XL, so yes. Um, backstrike without anyone else being able to shoot us. On my way. Perfect. Time. That is exactly what I was looking for. Got it. Ready for orders. Um, and everyone acts before him, actually. Ooh, that is brutal. Yeah, so. Four, shoot him in the back. Cool. This might even be a kill. Scratch another target. Nice. All right. Tango. I'm on the clock. So lucky. Did you get? Did you get a better sensor roll? Yeah, plus seven. Much better. All right. Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. All right. So. We have two, well, one and three quarter Let's alpha strikes of standard left. But if we can get the heavy Gauss rifle I'm down, 
then we can start working on the LBX turret pretty easily. Yeah, I don't want to go anywhere with the Heavy Goss turret. Okay. I'm actually going to move back this way, because this turret, I don't think, is going to be able to shoot past this rock. So we can potentially stand here with our Marauder and shoot the other two turrets. Orders. And again, I don't know what's going to trigger, whether it's going to be destroying one more turret or getting too close to the base. But... I can't afford to use all of the Apollo's ammo just shooting turrets indirectly. So I need to get where I can direct fire. And obviously taking that down is the highest priority. Okay. Receiving you. Pass, same thing. No. Now I need to get no. Oh boy. I cannot get where I can only see the one turret. Alright. Cool. Oh, there we go. I am firing at extreme range, but only one turret can see me. Okay. Target taking a quick commander. I'm on the clock. What do you want? And lucky. Actually, if reinforcements drop on this map, they always drop like over here. So I need to start moving that way already. Because the archer is very slow. Alright, last 30 shots. Beautiful. If they really cared about the right. MMO is depleted, I guess I'll have to actually join the fight now. And now, my marauder. Actually, I can sprint for three and still have a perfect I got chance. It. Beautiful. Don't think, don't shoot, just Beautiful. run. Beautiful. Take this. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, I should put the Gauss rifle last because it has the highest through armor crit chance. Which is the reason I had it first, in case I was shooting somebody who was somewhat low on armor. But if I'm shooting somebody who still has armor, the first two shots of the PPC shredding 150 armor, and then the Gauss Rifle hitting whatever's left should be able to punch through. So yeah, it absolutely makes more sense. Instead of, you know... Confirmed. Um, Warning. Uh oh, I got too close. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Confirmed. Oh, jeez. Well, at least I don't have to worry about staying back. Reporting. Critical hit. Okay. Um, before I shoot with anyone else on that turret, I need to use Lucky. I might even be able to actually... Nah, there's no way I'm going to get line of sight before it gets blown up. I might be able to get line of sight to the Phoenix Hawk, though. Yeah, that's actually dangerous. The low evasion slow movers are the ones that the reinforcements are coming for. Alright, so... What I want to do is get 7 evasion, cover, not line up for stray shots if possible. Although I kind of am. And hopefully kill this turret with crits. Nope, oh, not enough. <sighs> Alright, so our Apollo definitely needs to shoot that turret one more time. I just realized I have tandem missiles, don't I? Yeah. Then again, turrets have a lot of structure. I don't think I'd, I would have been able to kill him any faster with tandem. Yeah. All right, all right. So if I go there, the only thing that can shoot me is the Phoenix Hawk. Roger that. And honestly, if I'm just not in line of sight of the turrets, I can ignore them until I'm done with the reinforcements. Oh, wow. He has 10 evasion. What? 
how does he have 10 evasion? Is he immune to sensor lock? Sensors locked on. Yes, he is. Oh, wow. Okay, how do we deal with that? I'm on the clock. What do you want? Like, seriously, how do we deal with, how do we deal with that? Um... Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. I twisted wrong. I wanted to finish that turret off. Now it's gonna get another turn. Uh jeez. 0.9. Awesome. No point in even shooting. Ow. I deserve that. I deserve that. Luckily it's on the fire starter. Ow, I deserve that too. Did not realize that turret had line of sight. Ready Didn't forward. pay much attention because I thought it was gonna die. Alright, so we're gonna go here. Confirmed. We're gonna leave the destruction of that turret up to garrison. We're gonna start shooting this turret. Go. Waiting for orders. Uh Cannot get seven and shoot it, huh? Not without turning my back to the other turret. All right, six it is then. Yeah, six it is, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, we took a lot more damage last round than we should have. It's fine. Completely fine. That one's gone. All right. This Phoenix Hawk, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a lament. What? And a battle cobra? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so triple ERPPC Tiger with a small X pulse. Wait, what? Inarch launchers? Is it a melee mech? No. What? Also, why do they have such crazy evasion? Like, this thing has eight evasion. Why? Engine core 200. That's it. That should be 5.7. Standard head. Did the game glitch out or something? Why do they have 8 evasion? They have nothing that would give them bonus evasion. They don't even have like a defensive gyro or anything. Huh? That's weird. I mean, the Lament luckily only has two evasion. So the Phoenix Hawk, double ER large, double medium pulse, machine gun AMS. Sure, whatever. XL engine, good to know. But yeah, even the, like, even with a 270 core, that's not enough to generate 10 evasion. I'm so confused. Like, there's no reason for them to have 10 evasion. Yeah. At all. Maybe if I give them another turn? Maybe they'll lose some evasion? Okay, so he barely moved. He barely okay, moved. Damage is left. And he now has... Three. 
then I'm on the clock. You know what? <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna wait with uh, Lucky until Gremlin shoots him. Commander. Yeah. Hi there. How's it going? Because there was actually a chance she killed there. Um, yeah, that's where I can see her there. Just move Roger for three. Alright. Turn 14 is the Battle Cobra with the Einarch. Is it now a reasonable evasion? Yes. Now it has three. I'm on the clock. What do you want? That was so weird. But let's now that it's done, decisions and let's wreck them. Let's wreck them. I'm legally obligated to. Yeah, I like the archer. Kill. I like it. Even, even when there's not an enemy that has missiles for the AMS to intercept, like Receiving the dual, the dual LRM forty or <laughs> dual LRM forty. The dual LRM 20s is still like really strong. Like really strong. Especially with Bandit making it like super likely to get crits. Commander. Garrison. Seven evasion and cover and shooting. Affirmative. Not enough. Unfortunate. I'm on the clock. Oh. What do you want? We still have Lucky. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. Make some bad decisions at high speed. Save some ammo. Yeah, one's definitely enough. Nice. If they really cared about this facility, they'd have more okay. than turrets. The Lament is actually still quite dangerous. Yeah. Uh, but it's not dangerous if it can't shoot us. Hauling ass. Actually, I should have moved and braced. Ah, uh, sure. I've Let's see if he's immune to sensor lock. Oh, actually, we hit both of them. Nice. No idea. Um, he has two evasion, the Battle Cobra gets to go now. Wait. Uh, something just bounced around in here. I think okay. I something broke, and I am One. scared. I thought narcs counted as missiles and could get intercepted by AMS. I guess not. Two? Ow, that actually did a lot of damage, including through armor damage. Weird. Ready for orders. So it's a narc that does things. <laughs> um, I really don't want to get where they could potentially melee my uh, my cicada. Actually, I'm gonna give them a turn. I'm gonna see what their eventual positioning is. Reserving action. Well, let's just see what. Oh wow! How far back in their initiative are they? Eighteen. Wow. All right, Lament, 18. Ow. All right. Right here. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the flaw in my let's give them a turn strategy. And I can't get in their back or anything. Cool. I mean, it's a medium. Confirmed. Actually, if I offensive push this, the archer is going to get a turn before it. And if he's not dead from the other three, he should be able to be crit out. He is running a standard engine, so. Eh, let's still go aside. And that's why I wanted to go side. Scored cool. a critical hit. Ready for orders. All right, he no longer has haywire ammo. That's good. Wait, what? There's a raptor. Nice. Ooh, there's a raptor. That's gonna be some good salvage. Throttle 
And honestly, the hit chance on the Raptor might be about the same as the Battle Cobra. Actually better? What? Okay. Alright. Orders. Also, this Raptor is, uh, quite a bit stronger than I expected. So, yeah, we're gonna try to finish off the Battle Cobra. Again, we're hoping to get crits on the side torso. And we're gonna get the Archer out of dodge. Because he has taken a lot of damage. And I don't think they have any indirect fire, although Artemis does lose. Ooh, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if I'm sober enough to find this Just trying for a through armor crit. Cause tandem. But unfortunately we did not seem to get one. Battle Cobra does not shoot at anyone. I'll take it. Raptor 3 has tandem missiles, or tandem rockets. And picks the fire starter as his target. My internals are taking a beating. I'm fine with that. Receiving you. Okay. I can get six evasion and punch him in the back, and then shoot him in the back. I mean, it's not much, but it's stability. That's the main thing. And it does still do damage to the back. Unless it hits head. Standing by. Yeah. Das, on the other hand, cannot get behind him. So we are going to focus on... Uh, I can only get obstructed. All right. Yeah, this raptor has a lot of armor. Surprising. Confirmed. All right, let's focus the lament then. And our evasive stealthy boys with six evasion and standing there next to his friend, hoping that they're gonna shoot at him and miss and stray shot the raptor. That's basically the play, or that that's basically the plan. There we go. Affirmative. That might even be a kill. Oh. Yep. Nice. That there's a kid. All right. So the majority of the damage we've soaked so far was on the archer, which means I don't have much to worry about. I don't think. Especially if the lament does nothing. What do you want? What? I mean, honestly, at this point, stand and shoot is twenty-four percent. Move and shoot's 21%. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just gonna stand and shoot tandem. Let's see if I'm Crits? No, no crits. Okay. LRM ammo is depleted. Guess I'll have to actually I mean, join the fight now. At least the tandem actually, you know, does damage that affects the backstrike damage. Hey, quit it. Okay, so the Raptor had one weapon. Good to go. I mean, I definitely want to be in motion. Getting where the Lament can punch me is probably not a bright idea. So, we're going to get six evasion and shoot the Raptor in the back again. Zappity zap. Oops. Sorry, Gremlin. Whoops. That hit something good. I'm here. Oh, actually, I moved. I moved the cicada so far away that the raptor was no longer in his C3 range. Whoops. Uh, we're gonna go vigilance with the fire starter, and we're just gonna move for three, so we get the 20% damage reduction on, on top of our 20% damage reduction. Most of the damage we've taken is to our legs. Sorry, Gremlin. 
Really? Still not a kill? Reporting. Critical hit. I was really expecting that to kill. Alright. I cannot. I can. Yeah. Let's do it. Boom. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Alright, there's probably nothing left to salvage. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Alright, so here. Trying to get line of sight because Artemis is notoriously bad at indirect fire. Let's see if I'm sober enough to line this up. Alright, what's he gonna do this turn? He's got a couple of prime targets, like the back of my Marauder. But he's gonna go for the Archer, and miss all the PPCs. Now who's done for having all the armor? Hmm. Orders. Okay. Um... Cannot get into his back. I really want to, so I'm gonna reserve. Waiting for the shot. Oh boy, how many times am I gonna have to reserve? to get into his back. Although, actually... They're flanking. I was about to say... I should not have... Did I even reserve with Gremlin? Or did, did Gremlin just not get it? Okay. I mean, honestly, it would be bad to hit him with melee. Pollen ass. Hitting him with melee would result in bad times. Okay. Confirm. Mm hmm. Enemy down. Mm hmm. I'm on the okay. Clock. What do you want? Yeah, that was. Interesting. Um, I'm very glad that he did not successfully nail our Marauder in the back with all three of the PPCs, because as you can see, if all three had hit the same side torso, we would have been in trouble. Alright. Sure. I'll see you once I destroy the buildings. Alright, there we go. Um, okay. Alright, so we only got 500,000 because we haven't finished the flashpoint yet. Yeah, we're completely fine. We're not going to be able to drop these exact mechs on the next mission. Well, actually, Untouchable did not get touched, so we could drop Untouchable again, but the pilots are going to be fatigued, so... Yeah, what do we take? Battle Axe? We don't have anything. Raptor? <laughs> we have one part of four different Raptors. Awesome. This would give us two parts of one Raptor. I mean... Mm. I don't think I want that one, though. Because I saw it had a void system. Eh. Great, whatever. Imperator AC5. 15% chance to jam and damage itself, so it's a ultra auto cannon that can blow itself up. Cool. I'd rather just run an ultra auto cannon. The Tiger PPCs. Increased recoil, increased heat, but two slots. So just objectively worse than a clan ER. Cool. I narc launcher. This is what I'm this is what I'm curious about here. Two evasion ignore. Plus one accuracy with this weapon. The weapon is immune to AMS. It's actually kind of interesting. I mean, it's four tons, but it ignores two evasion and one accuracy. Hmm. 
It's kind of interesting. Large Rex Laser Quick Cell. Oh yeah, didn't we have one of these on the um, Oscout at one point? Just plus 45% damage to armor, so it actually does a ton of damage if you get in close. Does full damage at point blank range, but falls off to 10% at its maximum range. So yeah, at 600 meters, it's doing like 12 damage to armor for seven tons. But if it's on somebody quick, I think I'm actually gonna take that because situationally, that could be really good. Very situational, but potentially very good. As an angel ECM, but we're kind of at the point where we're trying to put like warfare suites on everyone. C3s, whatever. Indo, whatever. Like, we already have plenty, right? Yeah, we already have three. 300 cores, we already have three. I honestly, whenever I saw what we were against, I was expecting better. Ooh, there we go. There's the money. Or not the money, the, the salvage. So, upper hardens. Minus 5% damage taken. And 5% resistance to critical hits. Weapon mount heat. Plus 1 accuracy. Minus 3% heat generated. And penalty to melee. That's fine. Actually, wait. It's a replacement lower. So you're just getting the minus 3% heat generated. For one tenth of, or 10% 10 of one tenth chassis damage. I don't know, it gives us options. Uh, we're past AC5s, although I do like precision ammo and having armor piercing as well is pretty cool. Um, Inarch. Grants visibility, counters ECM up to 12. And then it does the standard plus two bonus target painter, plus two bonus for missiles, reduces targets, ECM stealth, or mimetic effects by two, 100% easier to detect. I mean, it's not worth it for the tonnage, honestly. Inarch ECM, 10 ECM jamming, Reduces target stealth, EC, magnetic effects by 2. Target sight reduced 25%. Target sensors reduced by 50%. I mean, again, not worth the tonnage. Yeah, 40 damage plus 15 directly to internals. And a 100% modifier to throw armor crit chance and 200% critical hit chance. Wow, that's actually scary. <laughs> Luckily, when they shot the archer, they hit the leg and didn't blow up any of our ammo. I mean, then again, the arm, we, we do have case two, so... Ammo explosion isn't as dangerous as it could be. For the most part, this is a bunch of junk. <laughs> okay, we have ten inner sphere... I mean, not inner sphere, uh, improved jump jet standards already that we haven't used at any point ever. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wait, don't we also have a jump booster? Maybe we make a medium that can just, like, fly. Hmm. It's a consideration. Small advanced cockpit. Like, there's not that much that's, like, Good. I mean, small X pulse is probably the best thing here, honestly. Jeez. Like, I'm just gonna straight up sell the PVC. And the carpet basic. And the Indo. And the heavy Pharaoh. And the heavy jump jets. And the Sinnoh sensor. <laughs> and the tracker sensor. I'll keep the slick sweet. Standard fusion engine, gone. I'm never gonna use a heavy Gauss because of the knockdown chance. I'd rather have the 9,000 C bills. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. So, the guy who hired us to find the guy that burned the village is listening. 
and we're talking to the guy that burned the village. If you were trying to kill me, you failed. Of course, that's par for the course for the dragon and its servants. Drooling, syphilitic mongrels, the lot of you. And I am the man who will put you down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have been sent here to hunt me, yes? Well, I've decided to give you a sporting chance. You will find me in the New Wallen Marsh at a set of coordinates that I will provide. Come for me and we'll see what your, what your company is made of. Yeah, it's definitely a trap. Okay. Okay. Okay, so our choices are run away or spring a trap. Near impossible to achieve? Really? Yeah, let's kill him. Alright. Uh, yes, repair them. And we probably go straight into, yep, another mission. Alright, so, goodbye, 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 well done. Actually, we're not even going to drop Untouchable. Like, we could drop Untouchable with, uh, Porin to get the extra plus two evasion. Actually, wait, no. Cautious only gives plus one evasion. We, we already generate max evasion with the Cicada. So she would only actually go up to six, right? Or would she go up to seven? Yeah, because plus one evasion gained a max. But if she managed to get to the point where she had 20 affinity, she would actually be able to get up to nine. She has plus one gained in max. It gives plus two max. She has plus one. It gives plus one. Actually, yeah, let's get her more experience. It's only a four skull mission. We should be fine. Like, yeah, it's a battle. It's probably the, uh, the stand in fight or like the, the spring in the trap where there's one big heavy target and a separate lance that ambushes you. Okay. Let's just bring a bunch of really filthy backstabbers, actually. And melee mechs. Melee mechs and backstabbers, I think that's the play. Ooh, really? The Hunchback is an entire rating on its own? Okay, I see what it is. I see what it is. It's those three together. If it's just the Untouchable and the Hunchback, it's one skull. If it's just the Warhound and the Untouchable, it's one skull. But the three of them together makes it two skulls. Can we sneak in? Yes, we can. We can sneak in the Wolfhound as well, which is also a fairly quick lily little backstabber. Actually, the Phoenix Hawk is just as fast, has more damage, and more importantly, is tankier. But it's too much. Wyvern? Too much. So yeah, no, it is literally just the Wolfhound, huh? No, we could bring the Centurion. 
Warfare Sweet, IFF Jammer, a single Enhanced Stellar M20. That's, that's still 140 damage. Versus 25, 55, 85, 115, 140. Really? Huh. So the Centurion actually does the same amount of damage as in your face laser. Although it is a lot slower. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to stick with the plan of filthy little backstabbers going and filthy backstabbing. Yeah, it's going to be good. Now, obviously, we're going to drop Paradox in Punchy McPunch. We're going to drop Lamia in your face laser. And we're going to drop Fetus in her Warhound. Beautiful. All right, so into a battle. Command interface initiated. We've got punchy boys. We've got filthy little backstabbers, and Ugh, I hope there isn't quicksand here. Um, ooh, that's not good. You know. It's times like these that I feel really dumb. I brought two melee mechs. If I'm dropping one lance and two of them are melee mechs, and there's flyers. Good to go. Oof. Um, yeah, there's no hit chance. Nope. Reserving. Because it still has spawn protection. Oh wait, it already went. Order. It already went. What am I doing? That's five. Still five. Superchargers is four. Can I get five in the forest with no? Hmm. Okay. Why does Freitas not get six evasion? That's move, okay. <laughs> yeah, that would explain it. <laughs> I was a little confused there. I actually kind of want to keep my distance from it. Because the, if it does have daisy cutters, which, you know, one-shot mechs, I want to stay out of range as best I can. 32%? Sure. Unfortunate. He has flares anyway, so, and possibly AMS Mark IIs. Ha! Aye, aye. Yeah, six evasion will do nicely. Um, ooh, range problems here. And not in range to EWS ping either. Oof. That's unfortunate. Here we go. That's very unfortunate. It's fine though. There's always next turn. Wait, what? I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Oof. I'm heading your way. Okay. I thought we were at the edge of the map. I did not realize there was a lance behind us somewhere firing indirectly. Hey. On the bright side, they were firing indirectly. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of 8 evasion. Although, actually, now that I think about it, 7 evasion and cover is better because... Yeah, if it has bombs, the bombs ignore evasion. 10% hit chance, 
versus 8.5. I mean, honestly, it's not that much better. <laughs> it's really not. So, yeah, I'll take... I love it when I suddenly see that I have a better hit chance after all. I cannot hurt this thing, huh? Wow. Commander? Wow. All right. I really miss my AC-20 precision ammo. Roger. I really, really miss my AC-20 precision ammo. Being able to shoot the AC-20 Mitron at longer range. Yeah. Yep. I literally just... Wow. I was just complaining about being out of range, and then I realized I didn't use the hot seat cockpit or the supercharger. Brilliant. All right, here comes the pain. Yep. Farewell, untouchable. Oh, no, okay. Just Inferno Bombs, not Daisy Cutters. We're fine. We're fine. Not worried in the least anymore. Although I think this is the one that has the light AC-20 then. So that's an 80 damage that ignores evasion and has bonus accuracy. Yeah, they're still trying to fire indirectly at stealth that has 6 evasion. Good luck. Standing by. Good luck. I mean... Am I going to be able to get in the slide with everyone? Because I can definitely get in the slide with the Warhound. Uh, Cicada will definitely be able to get in the sight. Yeah. Alright. To the sight it is. Also, Vulture Mark IV, Javelin Ignis SRM. Okay. That's not that scary of a lance. Like, yeah, the Javelin has a lot of damage, but... If we get behind him... He, like, instantly dies to the Cicada. Six evasion. Affirmative. And we can't knock him unsteady because he's a vehicle. Oh, boy. But yeah, Bomb Rack Infernos. Wait, is his AC jammed? Did I, did I see a jammed autocannon there? System's holding. Yes, I did. All right. Bye. So I could ignore him. But honestly, like... Start and engage against the vulture. Nah. Sprint for four. Yeah. Let's see what this baby can do. That was a sprint, right? Not a move. So I just remembered uh, whenever you switch the superchargers on and off, sometimes it changes whether it's a move or a sprint. Yeah. Accuracy through volume of fire. I'm here. Literally the exact plan. Alright, and we're going to purposely put our stealth 7 evasion mech right in plain sight of everyone. So that hopefully they all shoot at her instead of uh, anyone else. Twelve. Wow, this thing is not taking damage. But again, all it can do next turn is drop some heat on us, and I mean, yeah, we uh, we have two melee mechs. We don't really care if we get hot. We just start punching people at that point. Also, this is probably a better call, right? Actually... I can. 
but it's obstructed line of sight. On four. Oh yeah, the Ignis. I was like, what's that over there? That though. On the move. Full speed. That very well could be a dead javelin just from the MRM. And the closer you are to the target, the less the AMS can intercept. I mean, yeah. Might as well. Only the no only doors. the rockets fired. No SRMs okay. remaining. Got it. Well, I mean, the the rockets were going to be intercepted no matter what. And again, stealth seven evasion. Yeah. And we're also now in position to punch the javelin next turn. So or melee weapon it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Running away, are you? Yes, Commander. Yes. Um I mean then again. Hundred forty five damage. Yeah, let's Roger that. Let's. Targeting for an alpha strike. Not as impactful as I thought it was going to be. Reporting critical hit. I I really thought that was gonna like destroy a side torso or leg him or something. So I absolutely should have gone for the effort. What no? But it's fine. I'll try. Because now he's legged. And again, the, the Ifrit does have a single 80 damage pinpoint that ignores evasion, but this is 60 damage that ignores evasion, and then another 120 damage. So, yeah, no, I I think the call literally is the best. The best call is literally just to ignore the effort for a moment. Yeah, no, I definitely want to get up to the point where I can start punching this vulture. And I would love cover. Okay. Understood. Moving cover. Back. Going vigilance. Gonna have 60% damage reduction. That thing has so much armor. Oh, wow. But also the vulture, we're just gonna backstrike and then kill. So yeah, shooting him. Roger. I could have actually EWS pinged to hit everyone. Oh no, heat. Whatever will I do? Yes, Commander. Okay. Supercharger off. I was gonna kill the javelin, but I mean, yeah, that. Moving out. <laughs> exactly that. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. Firing indirectly instead of shooting either of the mechs on top of him. Okay. Javelin should be shaken up a good bit, so shouldn't have that great of accuracy. Cannot maneuver at all, so... Yeah. Should be easy kill. 
Need something, Chief? Yeah. All right. Not the Ignis. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, right. Supercharger off. Yes. Punch. Everything's good. Heading out. Here we go. Boom. Head punch, but not enough to kill. That one's gonna leave a mark. Okay. Surprised that it didn't die, actually. Is our hunchback missing parts from when it was good? <laughs> like, I remember our hunchback being really good, and that was pretty underwhelming, honestly. Like, he used to be able to head punch people. Ooh. Um. Okay. Maybe I should respect their heat. Although, actually, now it's completely out. Awaiting orders. Yeah, definitely go for the back strike. 100% go off the back strike. Zap, zap, zap. One less target. Um. Yeah, this is actually kind of problematic. It's like I don't need much to finish the vulture, I but there's no way. Yeah, can't reach to shoot him in the back with my uh, with untouchable. Order. So I have to use Freitas unless I want to give him another turn. Actually, I mean that's a sixty-four percent chance to kill, but if I miss. But I'm too hot to melee him. I could physical weapon and shoot the streak MRM. 184 damage, I think. I think that's the number before doubling because it's a tank. I wish I could check. Um, but you know what? Even with the 184, that should be enough to kill if it hits. Sure. Roll to that. Attempting physical attack. Unfortunate. That did not hit. Okay. Reporting negative damage. Okay. I mean, on the bright side, they are just using a bunch of heat, and we did sink all of our heat. What? No. Every bit of it. Um, I mean... No, no, I think I think this is the point where we start shooting the um Can we not get can we not get seven and shoot him in the back? No, no, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh boy, here get six we go. evasion. Shoot the effort in the back. Ninety one percent beautiful. Firing everything. Structure is Actually, that's a kill. Nice. I got him. I love when the cicada gets kills because I never expect it. Like, it's mostly there for the electronic warfare stuff. I just realized how much stability damage he had. All I had to do. We lost a mean laser. Darn. Uh, all I had to do was shoot him once, and he would have fallen down. And the fall down, the, the knockdown probably would have panicked. Standing by. Alright, so I definitely want to keep my left side Confirmed. towards these enemies. That should be a kill. Target lock on enemy's rear. Please don't go. 
Please don't go through this. Okay. Cool. Wait, engine destroyed? Hello. I think I know where I'm picking. Ah, uh, I tried to position where Untouchable's back was not towards the enemies. Also, that was a lot of hits for six evasion and stealth. What's up, boss? Um, yeah, we are going to continue with the punch into the back. And the Daka. Daka, Daka, Daka. Alright, one lance down, one lance to go. Yes, Commander. And now that we've cooled off, we can kick our hot seat cockpit back on. Turn off the supercharger because it has a fail chance now. And zip over here. Good to go. Now, who's shooting at us? Like, what's going on over here? And yes, I know, I know, uh, we're not using Omnis. I know the Vulture 4 is an Omni. I'm talking about the gear I'm gonna be able to get out of a Vulture 4. Because it should come with all hey. clan tech, including a clan XL engine, assuming it's not destroyed. Uh, okay. We see a cougar. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to go into Spore Cloud. Plus four difficulty to hit, but we take 20% additional damage. Which we so. can actually offset with Vigilance. And then next turn, when we run out of the Spore Cloud, we don't have the bonus damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. 24%. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, and we see over here a hatchet man. Okay. Yeah, like I said, they're not gonna be able to hit. Turn 29, hatchet man. Oh, wow. Turn 30, something's acting at turn 30. Oh, is it the cougar? And that's crazy initiative. That is some really crazy initiative. Alright. I'm not worried about what I see, though. Like, In Your Face Laser needs to stay out of the rest of the fight, I think. It just occurred to me there might be another low skull drop after this one. And using our heavies is gonna put us, like, it's pretty, pretty severe danger. Anyway, as I said, getting out of the Spore Cloud should still give us the Spore Cloud bonus. Oh, I guess not. Ah, here we go. Cougar, Catapult 2, Stealth Catapult. No kidding. All right then, gonna stay on target with the Cougar. It has very little armor, so should be able to destroy it pretty quickly. But that Catapult, that's actually, Although he's really, he's sticking to the Hydra, Hydra, yeah, Hydra Elerate. Hey so, all right. Uh, we are quite a bit out of position, however. Going full throttle. Like, okay. <laughs> it's not gonna take us long because all the mechs over in that area are zippy. 17%, 8%. Mm-hmm. Engaging. I just realized I might have accidentally straight shot the cicada in the back. I should not have taken the shot. Negative damage. Yes, Commander. But all's well that ends well. Actually, this is a shield arm. We already lost the medium laser. The engine does not extend into the side torso. Okay. Let's let's keep in the fight with in your face laser. Um, we will avoid we line of sight this turn. But then as soon as we're able to get in range to start start shooting the pulse lasers again or EWS pinging, we will. Alright, I'm gonna turn off the cockpit hot seat, turn on the supercharger. Which gets us right up to the water. And this is a streak, so I don't care about shooting past untouchable. Because if it hits, every missile hits. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't fire. One of the benefits of streak. 21%, 23.8. Again, this is more impactful if it hits. And indeed, it does hit. I'm kind of 
kind of surprised he's not open yet. Are we just, like, evenly peeling off his armor? Ooh, right. Lining up for stray shots. Oh, there we go. There's the last enemy. I don't like how this is going. Yeah, that was that was really bad. That's like the only way Untouchable can really get shredded is if somebody else is standing right next to it. Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts so much. I'm getting Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Untouchable side torso is almost popped. Aye, aye. That's so bad. Oh man. Okay. Um. Yeah. On the move. Hopefully, get him to shoot at somebody else. Uh, EWS beams out of range, right? Yeah. It is. Okay. Acid. Unfortunate. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Um, still have no data on like anyone. Uh, we can now kick the cockpit hot seat back on to go zoom zoom. And hopefully get in range to do some serious damage. Okay. And that is a question mark. That's a pretty bad hit chance against the Cougar, and our stray shots have already been pretty whatever. Actually, that's a decent shot. Alright. Cool. I don't know why we had a decent shot there, but uh, I'll take it. So yeah, Untouchable needs to get somewhere where... Yeah, we literally were just shredding off armor all over the place. That, and we didn't actually do that much damage. Alright, um, so I'm gonna break line of sight with the hatchet man. Accelerating two locations. I'm gonna go Vigilance. And I know, it's the left torso. I know. But... We can kill... The Cougar. And get within minimum range of... The Catapult, while keeping line of sight to the hatchet man blocked. This raptor, man. Alright. I'm actually going to risk the, the supercharger blowing up so that I can hopefully get within melee range go, go, next turn. Go. Also for the extra evasion. 26. 51. But honestly, I'm not super worried about the hatchet man because the hatchet man can't shoot untouchable. Actually, no. EWS ping. That hits everyone. Beautiful. Of course, they have a really high initiative, so... <sighs> they're all gonna move, but we still get the bonus chance to... We still get the bonus, uh, knocking their damage. sensors off. Even whenever they're, you know, moving after. Like I said, I'm not worried about the hatch man until he gets closer. And honestly, I'm pretty sure our melee mechs are stronger. So if it, if it becomes a matter of fisticuffs... What? Ah, AP Goss Rifles, probably. Taking minimal damage. Yeah, it's an Oswing. Okay. MRM-10, Void System, uh, Light Engine... Bunch of battle computers. Oh, Omni Ultralight Gyro, yeah, 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 yeah. AR-20 Warfare Suite, mm-hmm. Fire Control Mark II, yeah. Okay. Standing by. All right. Again, Untouchable, we're gonna try to underrun the Catapult. Actually, the catapult hasn't moved yet. 
I know what we do. We shoot the catapult. And then we let, let the Warhound melee one of these guys. Copy. Because again, if we can kill the catapult, of course, then again, the odds that we kill the catapult. TSEMP cannons, double LRM20s. Okay. That's really dangerous. Like, really dangerous. Sorry about that. Just mosquito. <laughs> yeah. Had, uh, had some people working on my electrical stuff, and people working on electrical had. Uh, uh, they like to leave the door wide open while they have the breakers off, and uh, yeah, bugs. Bugs getting in. Very, very frustrating. Okay. In your face laser cannot shoot the catapult. Out of range. But we can shoot the Osprey. And even get a little bit of stray shots off on How's it going? the other guy. Uh, yeah, not able to get in range to punch yet. No shooting. But we can run. get in range to, hmm, potentially kill the Oswing, actually. Alternatively, No, we would have to get so many crits now. Let's kill the Aspen. Oh, yeah. Or just leg him. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Cool. Also health, one out of three. Ow. Luckily still hitting us with heat. Damage minimal. Awaiting order. Alright. Supercharger off, cockpit hot seat on. We're gonna have very, very little evasion. So I'm actually definitely gonna go vigilance first. Physical weapon, 40%. Streak MRM, 44%. If either hit, this should be a kill. Engaging. Beautiful. Tango, wow, they both hit. What are the odds of that? All right then. Mech destroyed. Cool. Hatchet man still slowly moving through the water. Okay. All right. Yeah. I can't take much yeah. more. Awesome. I don't know why, but mosquitoes like sucking the blood out of my knuckles. It's very uncomfortable. Receiving you. Anyway, um, I mean, I don't think I need the cockpit hot seat for that. Not gonna have a whole lot of evasion. But it will be our stronger side towards the enemies. We'll have cover and we'll have vigilance. I mean, not vigilance, um, guarded. So 40% damage reduction and our fresh side towards the enemies. Pretty good. Failed to connect. Wow, okay. Commander. So the 26 hits. <laughs> the 26 hits. But the, uh, the 80-something does not. I, I see. Let's see. I mean, yeah, sure. Engaging target. Yes, give them yeah. everything I was mostly want. going for the head because if. Oh, yeah, side torso destruction injures the pilot. Ready for orders. Right. Forgot about that. Alright, cockpit hot seats. Sprint. Has he moved? Has he not been moving? I copy. Hmm. Interesting. Fire in all weapons. Right here. I mean, I definitely want to get at least six evasion, preferably seven. 
And again, our left side is the damaged side. So if possible, I would actually like to turn with my right side. Yeah, like that. Beautiful. Stealth, six evasion, cover, strong side to enemy, and shooting them in the back. Zappity zap zap zap. And that's mostly for panic and to keep the cicada safe more than anything else. Uh oh. Okay, like I said, stealth, six evasion. Yeah, next turn we definitely get away from... Get away from him. Uh, supercharger on, now that it has a fail chance. Oh wow, we can get in his back. This should be nice. Beautiful. That's a kill. 100% that's a kill. Perfect hit chance. AC-20 Mydrin, large laser, and the super shotgun or whatever. Combat shotgun, whatever it's called. Yeah. Alright. Interface laser cannot shoot. Interface laser EWSP. Cool. Alright. So... Evasion unchanged. Alright. Good to know. Uh, I'm actually gonna get out of there with our data. We're still bringing value with our C3. But yeah. Awaiting orders. Um, I mean, I could turn on Supercharger and drop that hot seat. Try to get unobstruct ooh, into his back, even. But, at that point, he might melee me. Am I willing to risk that? Four ton hatchet. Hmm. <sighs> If I go over here in the water, he can't melee me. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to absolutely vigilance, and I'm going to shoot him in the back. Or miss, because apparently Freitas can only hit shots that are under 30%. Ow, hey, that wasn't very nice. I'm gonna have to punch you to death for that. Reporting minimal damage. Reporting. Alright. 10% fail chance on the supercharger, so I turn it off. And actually can no longer get in his back because the supercharger's off. Oof. You know what? Fine. Move over here. And EWS ping. And also vigilance. Just to maybe be able to beat his initiative next turn. Sensors locked on. Yes, Commander. Uh, yeah, again? In your face, laser? Kinda, kind of in a bad spot as far as being way. Double time. pretty heavily damaged. So... Standing by. If we can shoot him in the back, we shall. And we can... Right there. So we shall. Although if he melees and successfully hits Untouchable, Untouchable is dead 100%. Copy. AC 10 crit, cool. Critical hit command, ready for right. order. Supercharger off, cockpit hot seat on. Punch, back, crazy good hit chances, let's go. On the move. And, boom, you, mission accomplished. <laughs> Destroyed both side torsos and killed the pilot. Mission and there's another mission. All right, well, there's our financial report. Another 1.6 million. Beautiful. Uh, Punchy actually got kind of thin on the center. Warhound, we, we risked losing an arm, but actually that doesn't matter with the Warhound. Because unlike the Hunchback that has like special stuff, lower melee punch, upper spike and stuff, 
all we have is just the lower melee weapon on one arm. And that's it. <laughs> so if we lose our arms on the Warhound, it's not actually that big of a deal. I mean, 10% additional damage and an extra one accuracy is pretty good. Also increases maximum carry weight by 10%, huh? Can we put a bigger hatch? Oh, we already have a 10 ton hatch. I mean, if we could get our carry weight enough to be able to run another weapon, have two weapons, or have a weapon and a combat sh or a, a, a shield? Yeah, combat shield. We'll have to look at that, because I'm pretty sure we have some slightly lighter melee weapons, and while it's cool to be able to one-shot people, um, yeah, she doesn't hit as often as I would like, and I think we have some fiber swords that have higher hit chance, and in your face laser lost a laser, it's fine. Probably gonna retire it anyway, because I think I actually prefer the fire starter over it. That's a full catapult, right? Oh no, no, it's a catapult two. I was gonna say we have a catapult part somewhere, but no, this is catapult two, so we actually don't have the ability to build that. Um, raptor. We can build a raptor. I mean, potentially ripping some stealth out of it if if it comes in good condition, which it probably will because it's only a 40 tonner and we have pretty much everything on the Argo built. So that's potentially some pretty good electronic warfare stuff. Um, it's like, what else are we gonna take? Clan Large Pulse? Clan LRM5s? TSC MP cannon is good, especially the chance to just shut somebody down. But again, with the challenge run, I'm already struggling to do damage as is to be able to kill things. So having a weapon that takes six tons and generates 30 heat, that is literally just a support weapon that might do almost nothing. It's like, yeah. Repeatedly overheating a mech for several turns is great, but killing it is better because then then it doesn't act again. UAC-10 clan, I mean, it's good. Full stop, it's good. 720 meter range, 120 damage, 10 tons. I mean, it does have a pretty high jam chance and pretty high recoil, but that, that could be dealt with. Um... Air 12, we already have several. Oh, we only have two. Hmm. Battle Computer Heat, we have two. Chameleon OPS, we have two. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fire Control Mark 2, we have two. Gunnery Support B. I mean, what we could do. No, that would be stupid. Because the way the five. <laughs> Five picks or five parts to build a mech works is if you don't have three of a single type, with the exception of Omnis. I think Omnis you can mix and match like crazy, but if it's not an Omni, like the Raptor 2 is not an Omni, uh, you have to have three of one type and then add two other parts to it. Just like if you have four parts to build, you have to have two of the same type, the same chassis. So if we take anything, we're no longer guaranteed to be able to put together the, um, the raptor. And if we don't put together the raptor, we don't get the good stuff out of it. I mean, there, there's some decent stuff, but, I mean, literally the only thing that I'd be, like, considering against just building a raptor and potentially getting a bunch of stealth and stuff is the gunnery support B. 
but now I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the... Actually, wait, does the Raptor have... It has a voice signature system, right? Null signature system, NSS? Yeah. I like NSS. NSS is, in my opinion, the best stealth in the game, because while it doesn't have the uh, the chameleon's, you know, visual negation, its sensor negation is so strong, its heat is much more manageable, and it, there is no penalty for going zoom-zoom. So, as you've seen, the entire game, the entire playthrough, the cicada with the NSS has done amazingly well. And if we were able to add... Um, I forget what it's called, but I'm pretty sure there's like a, a separate piece that you can add in addition to the Null Signature System to give it Mimetic Stealth. So we got another Air 12, cool. Fire Control Standard, we're never gonna use that. Heat Sink Double, we have 37. Jump Jet's gone, Night Vision gone. MRM Apollo, sure. And Vehicle Flare, gone. All right. All right, so... I need to finish this episode so I can edit it, render it, and upload it before midnight. Can I? Uh, okay, so he's being, he's being a jerk, and yeah. Yes, let's keep going. Yes, repair everything. Can I save? I cannot save. On the bright side, we have plenty of mechs. On the downside, I need to save and quit. So that I can... I mean... Okay, what I'll do, I'll choose my mechs, I'll drop, I'll tab over and try to edit, render, and upload the video while Rogue Tech is still running, oh man. I can, I can see the slowdowns and the crash coming already. Uh, hopefully there's an autosave and I don't have to do the entire flashpoint again. That would be really frustrating. So it's a recovery this time. Recovery? What? Okay. Um. Well, we still have the Ostrock, so we have somebody fast who can grab the point and get out if we need to. He goes pretty fast. Um. The Griffin's kind of slowish, but it soaks a ton of damage. The Hellhound's fairly quick. Um, the crab's quick enough. And let's bring the Phoenix Hawk. Oh, that's too much. Ooh, that's too much. Okay. Um, well. We're in the jungle, so the combat shield is pretty much always going to be effective. Um, nimble. Allows mo shooting after moving. That's pretty useful. That lets us shoot and then move into cover. C3 as well. I think we're going to leave the crab home. Alright, Bear Claw. Uh, Hellhound was... Who? Uh, I don't think anyone actually has, like, a bunch of mastery on the Hellhound. And yeah, I should have skilled up all the mech warriors before starting... Before starting this uh, flashpoint, I didn't realize we we're gonna go on so many consecutive deployments. Um, I mean, sense pretty good. 
which is lucky, which means the heavy MRM is less likely to jam. Focus Fire literally does nothing here, but it's fine. And then the Awestruck has a Supercharger and a Mask, right? Or just a Supercharger? That doesn't... I put a Supercharger with no Mask? Really? Was the Mask just too heavy? Or did I... Did I drop it and realize that the mask doesn't add enough to warrant the tonnage? Is that what happened? I don't know. Um, but we need somebody with piloting. Orcus has five. Judith has five. Jamie has five. El Duce has... Oh, jeez. Alright, so we have maximum five. I don't think we're going to be able to use the supercharger. Or we might be able to use it for like one turn at a time. Okay, it's mostly running X pulses, which means we need military and actually focus fire is good. So the awestruck having focus fire would actually be a good thing. But not lucky. We don't need lucky. We need just focus fire and reckless is actually pretty good. Because I don't think it gets all the way to six evasion. But, I would rather save Judith to lead the final push. Oh, she was the one on the Hellhound. Yeah. There we go. And then that means we can put... Well, then again, again, Sin, if we have to drop on another mission. Like, I don't want to bring our best of our best, but... At the same time, this could be the last one with the hardest challenge. So, let's go ahead and bring Sin. Okay. So again, this is the team we're dropping. And yeah. Alright, well, it's loading, so this will be Monday. For now, that's been your episode of Rogue Tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal.